Okay, now this is a fun trick. Let's say you want to swap out the hair color for a completely different hair color. We can actually do that pretty easily. So you've done all this work and we've got this beautiful layer over here called hair. If you wanted to make it so that you could replace it easily, then what you could do is duplicate this layer and use the color replace tool. So I'm on the hair copy layer and I can use this color replace tool right here and pick a different color. Let's make our hair kind of purpley. Be fun. All right. So now I can come over here and do exactly what I did to get the red hair. Only now instead of red, I'm going to make it purple. So I'm just on the hair copy layer. And I'm just going to take that brush and it's already got the same overlay and curve settings as my previous layer. And I'm just going to come in here and change our hair color to purple. And of course you want to erase any places where you got a little outside of line. Okay, so clearly this looks a little bit more pink and that's because the red and the purple mix. But over here you can actually click on the layer that you want. So if I click to uncheck the copy layer, it goes back to that more natural red that we had earlier. But if I choose to keep that one checked and to uncheck this one, you can see I have the purple hair. So purple hair, well, pink hair, red hair, and the original hair color. And if you want to, the original eye color. So we've gone from there to here. Pretty cool.